Hi, and welcome back to another Finders Beepers History Seekers, the favourite channel of Nuke's Top 5. There you go. He was telling us earlier on, and if it's true, he will comment down in the comments to say it's true. We are the favourite urban exploring channel of Nuke's Top 5. There you go. I'm very happy. And there you go. That's third time. <laughs> anyway, we are in horrible... Lancashire. I want to say the wo wo no. version of it, but we're in the first 30 seconds of the video. Oh yeah, we're in 33 seconds now. We're in Lancashire and we are out exploring in a house. It's not really a cottage this one, is it? It's a house. It's a house. Um, 1970s house, I think. This. I don't think it was built in the 70s there. It looks fairly new from outside. I don't know. I need to have a proper look at it. I never, never really looked when I came in. Anyway, I've already seen a few little bits and bats of stuff that are really good like really good so i'm i don't know what to expect in this place at all no i need to it's show you third bear. location by the way i know we are on our third but i need to show you bear just look at the state of bear he is like he's like emily moore tv mast which nobody will know what i'm on about but i'll show yeah, you ufo he is on sake bear <laughs> so bear He's all touched up tonight. He's got one on the front, one on the top, and his camera as well. Got some brake lights on, got reverse <laughs> parking sensors. He's got everything on tonight, hasn't he? Heated seats. But yeah, look at him. He, tail. he looks so happy with himself as well. He's like a proper professional these days, aren't you? Even though he's still shaking away. Anyway, Bear, go and find those rabbits. Where are the rabbits? He's got your hair. What do you mean he's got my hair? This bit in the middle. <laughs> Yeah. I think you've done that on purpose. I haven't. It's, it's started, if you notice, look, it's gone grey. Yeah, that bit in the middle. Well, no, I mean, that one bit in the middle has gone grey. Anyway. Like a little Mohican. It has. Let's get looking round anyway, because I want to see what there is in here. There's some weird looking things. Just get going. Oh, stop, stop. You stood on him. Yeah. Poor dog. Right, come on. We're in the kitchen, which is very 1970s, I'm not going to lie. Shocking, isn't it? It's awful. It's a nice size, though. It, it, it's a lovely kitchen. And did you see, because we came, like, from the back, did you see that the garden extends out into a massive field that the next-door neighbours are using at the moment for their garden? It's huge. Mm. All of that was their garden. And it was massive. I'd love I'd love nice. to live round here. It is really, really nice. Nice area, it is. And we're just down the road from where Rachel went to school. She went to school like literally two minutes from here and then lived about 10 minutes from here. So it's yeah, very, well. it's a shame she's not come tonight, really. But. Ah, oh, well. What There's you... always a fault with her, isn't there? Don't be horrible. Well, I know, to be fair, I. That's the fault she's probably got. <laughs> yeah. I know I rip Lancashire to shreds, but she is definitely the best bit of Lancashire. Right, let's have a look. Have you seen all the things up here? <laughs> what? What? Oh, we're going to be rude, but yes, I thought now. don't be rude. But have you seen some of the things up here? Like, for a start, look at these. Do they look Greek to you? Does she look Greek to you? She does. I think that, I don't know though, the writing... Sod by carb. Pov sod by carb. So it could be, like, Latin. I don't know. Unk, ketek, ketak. I don't know what they are. Setek, setak. I feel like there's more stuff up here. Like, look at that. Little, um, what are they called? The jugs with the toppy bits toppy on them. Jugs. No. no toppy jugs, like tankards. Tankards, yeah. But I, oh, Stein is the word I'm looking for. Ah, oh, clay pipe. I've got a collection of clay pipes at home. Or yeah. not actually the pipes, but bits of broken clay pipe. You know, from when I've been metal oh. detecting and you see them on the floor in the field. Yeah. Do you used to watch the detectorists? Yes. And he collected them as well. He used to collect them in that. I think that's what started me off to be fair see look that looks greek as well metaxa metaxa brandy isn't it is it brandy yeah is it greek oh yeah product of greece yeah i bet there's no in it, it smells a piss <laughs> oh what else we got in here so why are you getting stuff from over there although that is really good what is that what is that what do you is it like a does it spin when you blow it? No. <laughs> well, I would spin if you blow me. Trust me. <laughs> can be no doubt that? about that, girl. What is it? Why are you calling me a girl? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't 
don't understand what that would be for. I'd be really interested for people to tell us what that's for. I've got no idea. I have no, like, I haven't even got a thought. I thought you might push that down and that'd spin. And then you'd do... No, that wouldn't spin. Like you do clay pottery on it or something. <laughs> well, yeah, something like that. Like, that's what made me think. But I don't know what it could do or what it's for. That's really weird. But yeah, some other things up here, like the little pestle and mortar, a little glass covering as well. And that looks quite old, you know, those scales. I reckon that's probably early 1900s, looking at that. And then there's other bits and bobs. Like, I like these, you know, the big glass covering things. Like, what would you cover up with that one? You know, the long, thin one? Oh, the one at the back? Yeah. Okay. Like, well, it's not thin, but yeah. th this one here. Yeah. That. What would he keep in that? No idea. It wouldn't be like cheese. Is that a bobbin? Like a thing, like on a loom? It is, isn't it? It is. Oh, that's good. That's a lovely little thing. I like that's things old. like that. It is old. I reckon definitely 1800s, that. Sharp as hell. Is it really? Yeah. I don't, does it like, did it go through the, yeah. To like thread between, yeah, but I don't understand what that bit inside's for. Well, that's the cotton, yeah, I know, but how did that work? Just... Like, I know it shoots between, but where does it come out? It's probably tied up somewhere, yeah, maybe there, right at the end, yeah, but then when, where does that thread through to is what I mean? It'll just, it'll just filter out here, oh, you'd think it's just... there fall out though do you know what i mean yeah i thought there might be like a hole in one end or something don't break it oh no that's sort of fitted on though isn't it yeah and what's this yeah, say let's turn it round can't see it it says uh not sure something wood keywood i can't read the bit above michael jackson it's them days yeah What's that thing next to it as well? That, this? No, that's a bell. No, that's a glass thing. There's only that and that. <laughs> no, the other metal thing, this yes. This bit? Yeah, what's that? next to it, is it? Well, it is. It's just next door but one. But what is that? What is that? Just turn it round. What's on the sides of it? Turn it back round. The way it comes, turn it round. Keep turning it round. There. What's the writing on it? Kazim. Kazim. Under 12s. It's for, okay. it's for local football team, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, though. What is it? It's quite an interesting item, but I, I have no idea. There isn't... Oh, yeah. Kazim. I can't see what that says. Definitely looks like U12. And there's a little star on it. I, I don't know what that could be, either. Don't Another know. mystery item. It's like a house of mystery items. Uncle Joe's. Isn't that American? Uncle Joe's mint humbug. Oh, maybe it isn't then. Oh, is that is that a cod bottle? Is that, are they called cod bottles? I don't know. That's, Can't stand that up, we spill it. Oh no, we stick it That's up your bum. butt plug. <laughs> That's a massive butt plug. No, notice how both of our minds went to exactly the same place. I know where, I know where it's going. Yeah, but what did that... They're <laughs> knocking into you again. You just what? don't care. J&B. J&B. Yeah, but what would have been stored in that, do you think? And... To be got, why would you have a bottle like that? Well, it lays on its side, clearly. Unless it's in a stand. Mm, could be. Like, but, like, but. Yeah, maybe, but just seems a bit wrong. And what's that? What's that funnily thing? Just a funnily thing. Oh, is it just a funnel? Yeah. That looks quite old. Ooh, what's an improved inhaler for hot water infusion? The water used in this is covered by Andy's hand. Uh, the water used with this should be boiling and the inhaler not more than half full. So did you breathe into it? Like, sure that. Yeah, breathe through that and then the it goes in one and comes out the other. Don't break it. That's that's an old item, that. It's definitely old. Just looking at the writing on the front yeah. there, that is really, really old. Is that some is that a weight? Yeah. And then look at all the bottles up there. They're cod bottles, aren't they? The ones that have got... Aren't the cod bottles the ones with the thingy in them? Cod. No. Uh, marble. 
the marble stopper in them, don't they? I have no idea. You've never seen them? I've never You're old enough bottle. to have drunk out of one of them. No. They had a bit 1950s. Oh, I weren't quite 18 then. No, they have like a little bit that sort of sinks in in the middle at the top and then a, they had a marble in them. And then the marble stayed in place until you drank out of it and then it came out and people yeah. smashed and the chokes on it no people no because it were inside the bottle it were like trapped inside the bottle so does people... that stop it from coming out if you tip it up no it wouldn't come out it w goes into like a recess almost but then people used to smash the bottles to get the marble, marble out. out so but yeah look at all those and the stones in there as well yeah have you noticed this on the desk next to the big soup I don't mean the, the Heinz big soup. That warden helmet. Is that original, do you think? It looks it to me. It looks very, very small. <gasps> that suits you so much. Would you, it, what would you be if you were a warden? Fire warden. A fire warden? Or I've an nothing... air raid warden. Oh, air raid warden, yeah. That's really cool. So you've got to paint your windows black. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll be Nature. happening happening to us soon. Yeah, when, no point. Oh, yeah, nukes aren't really going to... Well, yeah, because they work out where cities are, don't they? Oh, I suppose they know where cities are these days. It's not like bombers coming yeah. over going, oh, look, there's a light there, let's drop a bomb. Yeah, they've got Google Maps these days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But some of those... I know people do collect bottles and stuff. There's some good ones up there, to be fair. But well, I like the ones that have got the old brewery names on them and stuff, look. That one looks really old, one that Yeah, one. it does. What is he doing? He just walking He's around. literally walking into me over and over again. I don't he, think he knows what he wants to do today. No, he doesn't. He's, he's got too much weight. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we ain't going to put like a full size camera, a heat seeking fucking missile on him and all sorts. We'll have night vision on next. I know. That's we'll what put some goggles on. People are asking for that. I, Jesus. Know. I can see you. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god, we definitely if anyone comes these days, we we're getting caught every time, aren't we, because they're in. Yeah, and no way we can turn them off quick. No, definitely not. Right. Oh, what's that? Look at this over here. That little hip flask. That's good. In fact, what's look at the bottle. Again? The Guinness. Mini bottles of Guinness, those. Look. Oh. Tiny bottles. I think my granddad had one of those, and I think they're like very early 1900s, like really early 1900s. It's full as well, then. Are they? Yeah. I reckon you probably would have got them if you'd gone to the Guinness factory or something like that as a souvenir. Oh, well, souvenir shop? Yeah. Have you seen the the hip flask, though? I like that. It's got a glass top, isn't it? Yeah, with leather. Yeah, and then the bottom bit probably is metal, but it comes out as well. Probably comes out with that bit. So... <laughs> Legs just keeps keep hitting me and then I've just booted him by accident. But why don't you pick that up and drop it? No, it could be this house. It's not. How do you know? It's old. It's not this house. How do you know? Look at the size of it. Yeah. It's like the whole block. Yeah, next door as well. 1979. Doesn't say where it is. But that could be the back those that field behind this house. I think it is. You've got to be joking. It's got a tower on it. What do you mean it's got a tower? That's a fucking tree. That isn't. That's a chimney. Exactly. But why does this house not have chimneys? No. How do you know? Because I've looked from outside. No, you haven't. You're lying. You're just a fucking idiot. I think that's here. I really do think that's here. Right, let's have a quick look round, see if there's anything else in here we can find, and then we'll move on to the next room. Right, so, have you seen this? What would you say that is? A bit of wood. It is a bit of wood. You are right. But do you think that bit of wood... Why are you looking for soup and sardines? Well, he's stopped. He can live here. Literally every cupboard's got something in. Um, but what do you think that bit of wood is, other than a bit of wood? Sanding block. It isn't. It's really good. I've just... It's got it looks right... like a sanding block. But look, it says on the side, these blocks were originally part of the station platforms first laid 110 years ago. They consist of a mixture of hardwoods from the forests of Australia and Africa, Superfloor Manchester. So that will have come from the train station, probably in Manchester, the original one, 110 years ago in 1980-something. So they're from 1870. 
That bit of woods from 1870 in the railway station. Do you think it's like Manchester Piccadilly? Probably is, yeah. yeah. But how bizarre is that? And I just... wonder if he used to work at the railway then. Oh, he could have. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the woman behind you is his wife, I'm guessing, because she had to get him carted off um, to the to a, like a mental institute at some point because he obviously went mad, went absolutely crazy, and he was building things in the house. Apparently he was like making mental machines and stuff. What's so weird? Like you, you just feel. I feel like you're not even paying attention at all. You're not. What are you doing? Just listen for a minute. Instead of just like looking round, having a fucking vacant expression on your face, like you're somewhere else. What? So someone going mental and being carted off? Boring. How is that boring? What are you doing? Don't you? What are you doing? It's gonna fall. Oh, Andy! Hey. What? Is that another big loom? Yeah, think? it's massive. Oh, yeah, it is. It's huge. Oh, it's long. Oh, I can show them by doing this. Watch out, because there's a butterfly on it. Oh, that's good. Portuguese butterfly. Look at that one. That is a big one, isn't it? That is massive. What's it say on there? Jowit. Jowit. England. What? Javelin? Yeah. It's not the same. <laughs> As well as that, can you please stop squeaking? Because I keep <laughs> thinking there's rats or mice. It's his shoes. Listen. Not doing that. Not doing it now, typically. No. Yeah, I could hear it then. But just my left one. <laughs> just, I don't know why. <laughs> just squeaky foot. It's just suddenly gone squeaky. We thought we had rats in here, didn't we? Yeah, we're well, like looking around. I'm thinking, well, why is Bear not even interested? But that's why. But yeah, there is some real, just on the top of the cupboards. I absolutely loved the stuff up there. It's really, really good. It's quirky, isn't it? Yeah. And that warden helmet is just, it's one of my favourite things I think we've ever found in any explore we've ever done. Never found really war stuff, have we? Not really. Not like that. I mean. Like photos and stuff, but not actual things. Not like uniforms or yeah. helmets or stuff. Exactly. He's squeaking, squeaking again now. Now, how bizarre is it in here? This is like a living room, but there's stuff just being dumped and weird stuff at that. Like, what are they? Are they like feet off something? They've got no idea. They're like big metal casting type things, but I don't really understand why they're there. And what is that? Like some sort of weird football plastic. I don't, I don't understand it at all. Really, really weird, but yeah. Like I said, all sorts of stuff being dumped in here. And I don't know if there's anything good in here anymore or it's just tat. But I'm going to have a look round. If we find anything, I'll show you. But I've noticed these, in fact, look. On the lights, there's little masks. Like masquerade oh, yeah. masks. Right, like we were saying, there's just some very odd things in here, like big chunks of metal. And this, what is this? It looks like it's supposed to have ships on it. It looks like it's supposed to have submarines on it. And you go boop, boop, boop. Like an oscillator. Like, what are they called? Are they called an oscillator? That one. Or, or something like that. Yeah, on ships where you can see it coming towards it's you. Radar. Oh, that's what I meant, a radar. That's what it looks like. A big radar, because it's got, look, come and have a look at that screen. It's got the little marks at the side of it there, look. Although it says ample, ample. Delay, main TB, cursors. Sound or something like that. Yeah, that. that's, that's what I think. Weird though, that. I don't reckon that. Yeah, because it like says. Some sort of frequency. D oscillating frequency type thing. Maybe. Oh, it's Phillips. Is it? Then yeah. why did you take it with him then, the Divi? <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. You know what I mean? Leaving it here and just dumping it. What are these? Why do these look like magnets? Oh, that was a box full, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it like, is it like an electromagnet? That's what they do, innit? They wrap stuff round and round and round. If it's an electromagnet. Yeah. That's a whole sort of weird thing. And then like a Toby jug. That it just doesn't, none of it makes sense. Right, let me have a look in here. Right, so I've had a bit of a look in the drawers. Actually, there isn't. Oh, I'll just pull the handle off. But 
there's like a couple of little keys and, and stuff like that. There's not very much in it. There's also a pound note. Well, there's half a pound note. It's like 50 pence. Not <laughs> getting much, is it? <laughs> no. Not these days, anyway. So, yeah, I remember, I remember the pound notes, but only just. Hey, oh, what's this? What is this? Villa Park. Manchester United versus Arsenal. It's a ticket for the FA Challenge Cup semi-final. Um, what year was it? 99. Oh, very famous year. Manchester United against Arsenal. That would have been a right match. 45 quid. Bloody hell. 45 quid back in 99 for a, a ticket. Lot, it? it is. But yeah, it, that were... It will have been... Um, people like... I think it will have been Dennis Bergkamp. It would have been... No idea, mate. You don't know any... You don't know who Dennis Bergkamp I know, is. I couldn't tell you any, any other footballer from 1990. Yeah, it'd be like... Would it be Beckham? I think probably maybe... 13. What? 30. What are you 13, you silly bastard? What, in 99? <laughs> I were 19 in 99. So it would have been Giggs and Keane and... Yeah. All the, all the big name Man United players and stuff like that. And then it would have been... Winterburn for Arsenal. It would have been... Um, Tony Adams... No, it would have been maybe Paul Merson, but I think it might have been a bit late for Paul Merson. But a lot of the big names that was you... the guy that we were talking about on the way up here, was he knocking about from that year? Who? Emlyn Hughes. Emlyn that... Hughes? Oh, is that from the bloody 60s. Was he chuffed? Or 70s. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Ages. It's got to be. Was Emlyn Hughes in... 80s, 90s, I think. Emily Fuck Hughes. off. Same as Dal Gleish. Right, Dal Gleish wasn't playing in the 90s. He was a manager in the 90s. That's why I said 80s. Yeah, but no, you're wrong. I don't, you're very I don't wrong. Dal Gleish. Dal Gleish must be 70 now. Is he? Yeah, I'd say so. 60, 70. Not sure. Have a look. But Emlyn Hughes is dead. And Emlyn Hughes definitely didn't play in the 90s. 100% didn't play in the 90s. You are so far off. It were like Mark Hughes and people like that. Anyway, people are getting bored of football now. But oh, I love football. But I love football from that era. That's why I'm passionate about it. I don't know what all those bits are in there. Oh, there's a little bottle opener. I've got one like that on my keys. A little old metal... I bet it's a like Shandy Bass bottle opener or something. But I like... Stuff like that, it? Yeah. Shandy Bass. Does Shandy Bass still a thing? Yeah. yeah. I ain't seen it for a I long time. I ain't... I love oh, it for Shandy. I like Shandy, but I like Rattler. And that kind of Rattler when we went to Morocco... Which that you didn't drink? Went out at Winder and just soaked <laughs> me on its way out. I was gutted because I was so thirsty you as well. You were looking forward to that. You just <laughs> opened it as well. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'll have my donut first. Anyway, but yeah, this is all like leather bound. And I, oh, not leather. Is it leather bound? How? Yes. Would, yeah. I just can't get in it though. That's the problem because like there's no room. This moves forward and then this pulls. Let's see if I can do it. I can't hold everything and Andy can't get in to help me. No room down there for me. Look, I pull this out. Then you lift this secret bit up. Well, it's not really very secret. Oh god, there's just stuff in way, I can't get it open. Oh not quite out enough. Right, there's nothing in it, but what you used to do is you got this little stand and then it made like a little writing slope like that. So you could stand it up and, and write whatever you wanted to on it. It's really good. I'd like one of these if I had a big enough house, but it's definitely not You wouldn't write anything. I don't know, because I don't write. I don't write. Nobody writes. No. I, I, I've, I'm a very romantic person with stuff, though. I have a romantic idea of what I would do, but actually, in reality, I yeah. probably wouldn't. Absolutely. Right, I'd love to have it in my house, but I know that it would probably just collect dust. Yeah. That would be It'd it. Be a, a glorified clothes horse. Yeah, or, well, no, because that's your house, not my house. You're the one that hangs clothes on and everything, and I've... Do. I don't, definitely don't. But um, I would fill it with letters and a thousand birthday cards from every year. I'm one of them. I'm like the people we come and explore these houses. I am like them that keep every birthday card, every Valentine's card. 
not really it's not everything it's just those things anyway i want to go and have a look in there that next and see if there's anything in there right so i've had a bit of a look in there i can't really show you because there's loads and loads of addresses in all the drawers but i have just noticed something down there oh, that, bag of stuff. that bag it looks like really old trophies or some of them are new but some look really really old so i want to try and get down and see what they are they are and that says what the hell that oh, i will get it out first and we'll have a look at what that says but that is a weird thing to have in that bag down there a very weird thing i'll take your word for it till i get it out right before you start looking at the trophies and things just have a look at this because this is weird this this seems wrong technical manual air navigation attack computer what is that what is that all about basic and all changes have been merged to make this a complete publication march 72 change 1 15th of august 77 before i was born look air force oc it's like an official document, isn't it, this? It looks like it, doesn't it? I feel like we're looking at some sort of secrets that are out of date now, but still secrets. Let's have a look. Solving the air mass problem, computing the attack problem, determining lead distance 90 degrees, approach single turn on. Bleeding heck. Put it in 90 degrees and then you turn it on. <laughs> Or you turn them turn on. Turn them on. Put your legs over. <laughs> Hang on. Let's put your legs over. Eight, 90 degrees. <laughs> You're an absolute idiot. But yeah, look. Attack comp list of illustrations. This is like what's going to be on each page. What? Determining pigeons. pigeons step one. What? <laughs> and pigeony bastards have got guns. That's the attack computer. The the, the robot pigeons. Oh, don't, because I watched a conspiracy theory that all pigeons are robots. I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, I think you do. No, I don't. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, apart from the one thing that I will say that I am worried about. This UK text message on the 23rd of April. I think that it is, they're saying it's for like wildfires and natural for disasters. natural disasters. I think it's... A, early warning system for a nuke and it's worrying me a little bit i'm not gonna lie that is the only thing recently i've like been worried about for long sleepless nights yeah what's this anyway look look at this so we've got lead distance lop angle calibrated airspeed in knots compressibility correction factors what that's, is it that's just mathematical bollocks isn't it what is it for though what is it look some more there as well. So you can't be that because that's that's got a square screen, that's round. No, that's no, that. I thought that were like a water one, a beep beep water one. No, that's, I think that's some sort of oscillator type for hertz and megahertz for sound. Is that like a, a big dil a little dildo and then a big dildo up your bum? Yeah. Yeah. Because it hurts. Because it hurts and then it mega hurts. But yeah, look. What are all these things? Converting interceptor Mac to true airspeed. Oh. Mac is quite fast, isn't it? I don't, I don't Mac know. One. Yeah, isn't that something to do with like razors? Oh, I'm sure it's that. Like dad jokes. No, it's not a dad joke. Isn't it like, isn't there a... Gillette Mac 1. Yeah, isn't that what it is? Yeah. I thought I'd not made it up. I weren't joking. I actually meant it. I thought I've... You're just an idiot. <laughs> You're just a natural born idiot. <laughs> Thanks. And you're welcome. And I'm supposed to be the bully. Anyway, keep going. What, oh, do you know what it is? What knots are? Yeah, like little lumps in string. Shut up, you idiot. Target true airspeed, 400 knots. Interceptor true airspeed, 490 knots. What is that in speed? I've got no idea. I don't know what a knot is in miles an hour. I thought always thought knots were water. Well, it's not water like, and airspeed, isn't it? I didn't know. I thought it was just water speed, not airspeed. Well, it could be. It, it could actually be water speed. No, but that says air somewhere. Look, airspeed. Is it there in bloody letters? I've got no idea. Keep going. It's a it? flying boat. Computing turn radius for twenty degrees and six degrees bank turns. So uh, it is playing bank turn. Yeah, no, but it could be like a missile. 
like a guided missile or something. I don't understand. We could be way off. People could be laughing at us and going, this is just like some totally yeah, else. Yeah, you, you, you're completely way off. It's something to do with a bloody hi-fi system. Yeah, yeah, but it just doesn't seem that way, does it? No. Looking at this. So he's like, I wonder, he must be really clever if he's to do with all this lot. I mean, he's got all sorts of like mechanical stuff and technical stuff and yeah, whatever. I mean, and that's why he went mental because oh, maybe they locked him away because he was like making a, a bomb. bomb. Oh, you just don't know, dear. Do Homemade bombs. Imagine. Oh away. yeah, we hadn't even looked at the things we were going to look at. 1982, uh, British Airways, war versus British Airways, w war. Next one. That's shaded. Next. Oh, that's very bent. That's a restore that, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like pewter. Silver. Wing. Oh. Silver Wing London versus Sil Silver Wing Manchester, January 1977. I wonder what Silver Wing is. I wonder if it's something to Air Force again. Yeah, maybe. Um, that's some sort of. At BA average. Bowls. <laughs> well, no, it's bowls, but it's it's a bit harsh calling him average. Gordon Eridge Trophy Interstation Cricket. Interstation? Well, you like, like a railway. No, but it might not be railway. Do they not call them stations when it's like a, an air base or something? Yeah, good. Yeah. What we got here? The Tony Caro Trophy. It's always someone's name. England and Wales Silver Wing Club. Mm, men's Interdepartment Relay. God so, knows. Keep taking them out. I'm just going to throw them to one time. No, because then you don't know which ones you've looked at. You do now because you've taken them out. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to get this mixed up with that. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> you talk some. Oh, that one's a bit wobbly. Oh God, that's had it, hasn't it? Yeah. What is that? I can't. Hundred eighty. I can't read Darts. it. Oh, is it? Is that like that? Looks like a. Oh, that's hundred eighty as well. That's darts. Yeah. What else we got? Right. I mean, might Snooker. be easier just to look in here now rather than getting all the bits out. Darts. What, what's that one? The silver placky one. That one. Yeah. It's plastic. You mean? Oh, is it? Individual KO trophy. Mm. Yeah, that's about it now. All the rest are just like little bits of stuff. But I, I need to know what silver wings are now. Silver wings. Right, why are you just making songs silver up now? Silver bells, shells. I'm leaving you alone. Bell. Please do it, I'm coming. <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> I'm coming to talk to you instead, Bell. No, what, what you found? I don't know. Santa's not coming. Where's those rabbits? Find those rabbits. Where are they? Are they in the fire? Are they in the fire? Go and find them. Find those rabbits. Find those rabbits. That's not a rabbit. Find them. Right, what else we got? What else is down here? I feel like there's got to be more stuff on. Like there's a full seti thing there in here. I reckon there's probably more stuff hidden away, but. Yeah. What? Where are now? What is that? An outboard motor. Why is there a full-on outboard motor down there? Yeah, look, the top bit's up there. Yeah. That looks like a 1970s outboard motor to me. Old, isn't it? Yeah, it's not new at all. That's mad. Who has an outboard motor in the front room? I don't know where the boat is. <laughs> Put it upstairs in Bath. <laughs> Yeah, that will be bath, definitely. <laughs> Imagine get upstairs <laughs> and they're just and he's sat there. <laughs> he's just sat in his bath. <laughs> oh, right, I've got it it's downstairs. <laughs> oh, I'm not going very far. Oh, dear. oh God. Right, let's uh, let's keep going. I don't think there's many more rooms downstairs. To be fair, is there? Just little tiny ones. There's just a random bike sat here in the hallway let's see what's in this other room i don't think there's very much what's what what is that Ro talk robot wrench oh uh, just a wrench yeah. you get me all excited over a bloody wrench get me excited over a wench <laughs> you're a dirty wench oh andy we're in here 
this is something that people say that we look like all the time. And I don't know whether I should be offended or, or happy. Oh, they're good. They are good. Bear, stop just whacking me with camera. But yeah, look, that definitely looks like you. 100%, look at look at that face. That is that is a spitting image of you, to be fair. <laughs> what, you're holding a giant penis? It's not mine. <laughs> oh, you he found me, Bear. I don't want to be big and fat. Yeah, this is like a little mini office in here. There's not a great deal in here, but apart from Bear smashing his camera into everything. There's always one drawer that's got loads of cables in it now. But you've yeah. got that on as well. I actually threw all my cables away recently because I realised I never use them and I don't know what they are. So I just threw them all away. And there are probably some really good stuff. What are those? Towns and Gardens. Town and Gardens. Natural History of Britain and Northern Europe. Oh, that's interesting. What are the things about? Pull it back out. What's this at this side? I'm just con. Oh, I didn't mean that though. I meant this, like this bit at this side. This, this, yeah, this. This, yeah. What is it? Not English. And not look. Maybe he was a spy. Maybe that's why they they took him off because he was a spy in the. It's Soviet you Union. You're saying it was love child next. <laughs> no, I don't mean in the world in World War Two. Ooh, that's a guillotine and a half, isn't it? No, it's but, just a guillotine. <laughs> well, what's this bit of this side? That's the half. God knows. No, but like Soviet Union times is what I'm on about. That were the seventies, weren't it? Well, it was like the Cold War. Yeah, Cold War were like fifties, fifties. <laughs> Six, oh, was it from the 40s? Was it the 50s or the 40s the Cold War started? Um, I don't know. I don't know how long it went off on for. Because we were allies with the Russians, weren't we, at the end of the war? No, no, but then it just went a bit south after that. But I think... What was? Was it... Ukraine? Was it... Nah, shut up. No, that's West. Um, I know this one. Was it... Um, 92? The end of the Cold War? Um, 93? Again? I've said it once, I'll say it again, I've got no idea. I'm sure it went out. I don't know when it started or when it finished. I remember, how long it went on for. You remember the McDonald's... Shut up! No idea. You remember the McDonald's thing though, don't you? What, were you buried in my garden? No, the one where they opened the McDonald's in, in yes. Moscow. In like the... I'm sure it was 1992. Oh. Or 93. Or maybe 91. It was round about that sort of time. That's handy. Oh, is it off him? Oh, it's a shame. Right, let's get upstairs because there's nothing else down here. What's that? Certificate of a job. Volunteer walk leader. Walking for health. Natural Langland. Oh, no. <laughs> Natural England. <laughs> Natural England. I just read it as Natural England. Oh my lord, let's get out of here and upstairs. Right, heading upstairs. There's just bits of screws and all sorts everywhere. Keys and everything. <laughs> I, I knew you'd find one at some point. There's always a hat. Yeah, there's always a hat. There's always a twat and a hat. Like yeah, and it's always you. It fits perfect, this one. That really suits you in a, in a broke back oh, mountain kind of way. Is somebody sending me a tank hat? I'm going to fucking kill him, He's taking my legs off. I'm going to need calipers. <laughs> he just don't care, though, does he? That's the thing. Bush has passed. I know. He's, he's, not, okay in the world. he's not bothered. What? He's just an absolute fool dog. Right. Hey, what's in these? What's in here? What's in that one? I feel like something good's wrapped up in there. I feel like it'll be something... Well, it's just... Oh, are they... Oh, I thought they were martini. Baby sham or something. Baby sham, that's what yeah. I meant, not martini. Oh, look, there's loads. Books and maps. Oh, that stuff under there looked old then. What's the special? Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder if he was into that sort of Oh, my God, he's a stuff. fucking astronaut now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's done a lot, hasn't he? He has. He has. Maybe, oh, space race. 
Maybe helped him with that. Look at that. Maybe he's just an alien. What's your thoughts on the moon landing? Smart way. Do you think it happened? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm becoming a conspiracy theorist. You're just becoming I? an absolute idiot. <laughs> I'll be on talking about. I used to have a lot of respect for you. I've got none. <laughs> I'll be going on about mud flood next. Yeah, you will. I just don't know. I feel like I watch TikTok far too much. You do watch TikTok. You send me some right shite. Yeah, but you. That's not one I sent the other day. Were good, weren't it? No. Literally, it made me puke. <laughs> one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. It was horrendous. Oh dear. That was just awful. Oh look at the little mini roulette. I actually thought that was new, but it's not new, is it? It's like, what, maybe, maybe 1960s that, I don't know. Looks quite old, what are you? <laughs> Could do with this last week when it was St. Paddy's Day. Well, yeah, true. Or to drink those little mini bottles of Guinness downstairs. Yeah. You'd be bladdered on them, right, lightweight. <laughs> actually, you're not. You always tell me that you're a lightweight and then you're not, hey, trains. Or is that roadworks? Is it roadworks? Or is it the men that are going down the train tunnels? It's a weird thing to have on top of your thing there. It's an old, it's an old one, that one. It, it is old. Got old yeah. Sean. Oh, right. sh what they call them? Not Sean's. Oh, it's where you make your shoes, isn't it? You'd like. It's a cobbler's thing. Ah. <gasps> They look like cobbler's doofer. Do they like old photos and stuff in that corner, or is it just old books? Books. Is it? Oh, I got excited then for a minute. Right, I shall have a quick VHS. See what we can find. Right, looking at these over here, they these are the ones that I thought were photo albums, and they're all so wet. Everything's absolutely. Oh, there's some boobies there. Everything's soaking. Oh wow. I know what all these are, but looking at how wet these are, I have an horrible feeling. These are football programs. Oh, look at this. Final tie, Manchester City versus Tottenham Hotspur. 1981, Wembley Stadium. I've been to Wembley Stadium when it was... <laughs> you look like you could have Wembley Stadium to watch England play. I could hear jangling about. I didn't know what it were, you weirdo. Me? You absolute Keep weirdo. Your head Any money though, Man City won it, not Spurs, because Spurs never win anything. Let's have a look what else. Oh, one of the old brand new programmes. Oh, that's 1981 as well. I would have been two years old. I wonder who any of these people are. I don't rec oh, that's Ferguson in background, all blurred. But I don't. Sarah. Not bloody Sarah. Where's the top of your head gone? I can't see it. It's like your head just suddenly stops. I've only got a torso because I'm so camouflaged. <laughs> Go and see this bit. <laughs> oh my God. You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. Yes, yeah, some of these in here. Look. Know the game. The Laws of Association Football Handbook. What else we got? Oh, Christmas one from 1978 before I was born. And that is Manchester United versus Liverpool. I reckon some of these are worth a few, but people collect them, don't they? They do. But I just, I, that were 15 pence, that programme. They're about five quid now. I'm rest. Yeah. But yeah, look. Oh, look, see if I recognise any of these. Phil Thompson. Yeah. In he, Big um, nose. Yeah, isn't he like a, a present? Now, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Let's have a look at some of the names. Joey Jones, don't know who that is. No. Uh, Steve Grizovich. No. Yeah, oh, I do. Alan Anson. Yeah. Um, yeah, because weren't they really big around this time? This is, in fact, Kenny Dalglee should be on this team, I think. Graham Sooners. Yeah. Ian Rush. Emlyn Hughes. How fucking weird is that? What year is that? Just been, that's 1978. 1978, I told you, you're like, oh yeah, definitely 1990. Yes, I know Sooners. Yeah, you can't miss Sooners with that big tash and air. He's a right tit him as well, I don't like Sooners. I'm sure that's Dalgleish, this bottom left corner, but it might not be. Bob Joel. Paisley, he's the manager. Isn't that's it? Emily News there. That's so weird when we were just talking about Emily News and then he's in that programme. Yeah. 
What a weird thing. Terry back. McDermott, I remember him. Yeah, Kevin Sheedy, Terry McDermott, Emily Newings, Bob Paisley, Jimmy Case, Kenny Dalgleish, yeah, it was. That is him in that left corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's mad. I bet there's some more really good ones in there. Liverpool were massive back then, though, weren't they? They're Olympi not exactly small now, though, are they? Well, no, they're not. But, I mean, I think that was, like, their glory days, weren't it? Up until, like, the Rush era. Egypt, book on Egypt. Oh, I've been to the Egy Egyptian, or oh, the British Museum in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice enough. Huh. You're, you're an absolute horrible get tonight. What is wrong with you? I've got PMT. <laughs> what else I've got pre mat tension. Arsenal, Man United, it's all the good ones, all the finals. Nice. Yeah, year I was born. I don't think I'll know. Oh, Steve Coppola, I know. Um. Brother McQueen. I don't recognise that. Joe man. Jordan. You were a big bloke in Joe Jordan. I thought he were a boxer. Joe Bugner. I'm sure. Steve were... Coppel. Yeah, I've just said Steve Coppel. That's the only one I recognise out of those. So you recognise them? Yeah. 2 1. No, it's not going to be the score from that match, is it, though? So somebody predicted it. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Right, now have a quick. Oh, the, look! The bloke that lived here, he's predicted There's a big it. thing. It's this convenient. is weird. Look. There's a big thing about Emily News. He, he lived here. Emily News lived here. <laughs> imagine, imagine we just walked into Emily News' old house. That'd be so weird. Him is here. But out of, hey, hey. out of everybody we could have possibly talked about, we talked about Emily News, who I've met when I was younger. Yeah, doing had... gymnastics. No, that was Bobby Charlton. I don't tell people about the gymnastics. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe I was on a gymnastics course. I, I, what it was, you had to put down your choice. You had to put one out of each section. I put football down, yeah. I put athletics down, yeah. and my third choice was in the sec in the last section, which were all like dance and stuff, and I put gymnastics, and that's the one I got accepted for. So I had to go and do a gymnastics class with Bobby Charlton, and I couldn't... Oh, he's bare trying to get back in. <laughs> he's shut outside. Um oh, God. I couldn't do it though because I couldn't even do a front flip. Yeah, just like a big glowing dog outside the door, being stood there waiting for us all this hold, time. Hold patiently, yeah. Man, right? I'm telling you, Andy, I'm right. What? This Them guy. This guy is something to do with Hunt for Red October. <laughs> he, he, he is. He's like is Sean Connery now. He's a Soviet spy. What? Look, their trade is treachery, and it's all about. It's all about the Soviet Reds in it. I'm telling you, this guy's a, a double agent. He's a spy. Could you get much close to me? I'm literally walking into this window because of you. Photography. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, they're all so damp. This whole room is... Can't... Right, I feel trapped. I feel oppressed. Who do you think you are? <laughs> right, let's go and have a look. I can't think of his name. I bollocks that joke up. <laughs> it looks sort of funnier because you don't know it. I know. It was a song. Oh, I can't think of his name. Oh, you sing Trapped. I don't know. Oh, it's gone. Forget it. <laughs> Cut that bit out. I'm not now, definitely. Right, Andy, open that big black box there. I'd love to. You can't see that. I'd love to. <laughs> You're just a bad man. Right, open that. Oh, look. Double winners, official collector's oh. calendar. Glory, glory, Man United, 1995. Yeah, S&P. I feel like this is his spy and preparation box. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, shit and piss box. <laughs> oh, imagine there's just, like, bottles of shit. Oh, what is this? Oh, look. It's the king. That was then the prince. Oh, there's a coin there. So what coin's that? Let's uh, turn it over. Don't drop it. Oh, it's from 1977. It's like a mem more. What do you call them? Not a mem memorable coin. A me Moment momentous memento. <laughs> memento. Isn't that like a mint? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at him on that. I like him on that. Not that side, on the other side. That side. That's good. I like that. What's in there? Not much. Anus all. 
What? Not really. What is anal salt? What is that? It's like the Grinch. <laughs> it does a little bit, to be fair. Yeah. Andy. Andy. Yes, I'm here. What do you use in on um, on submarines? Hey. What do you use on submarines to see where you're going? Periscope. What's that? Pipe. It's a periscope. It's definitely a periscope. Obviously, you wouldn't use it on a. You can't go very, can't go very deep, can you? No, but it's when you're in like battle, you look over walls and stuff, don't you, to see where the enemy are. That's what that's for. Can oh, you actually see through it? Call. Is it because I'm shining a torch at it though? <laughs> Not supposed to close both eyes. You know that, don't you? It's very blurred. Well, that's your vision in general. Yeah, I think I'm just blind. And to be honest, I think the probably the mirrors inside have probably moved slightly anyway, yeah. because it it looks re relatively old. That that could be that could be second world war. That it could it could like used for looking over walls. Like trenches, I said. yeah, in the trenches. That's really good. That's what's really yeah? What's that? Or is it just that's a handle? No, it's not. It's list. Oh, it's Mozart. Could be Beethoven. I'm glad we're on the same page sometimes. Oh, oh, that box in the corner, Andy. Oh, just give me a minute, man. No, that box has got a big thing on it. It's got, it's locked. Oh, is that a blue torch? We might need that to get the box open in a minute. Because look, get the box open. No. What are you doing? Oh, I realise your torch were there. Blow torch. <laughs> You're an idiot. Not that box. I don't want that box. Hey, what's that though? That there, underneath that bit, underneath the handle and underneath the other thing, what's that? Is it stripes? Military stripes? It is, isn't it? Yeah. What's two stripes mean? I don't know. I know three stripes you're out, but... Three stripes is a sergeant, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. You missed my joke, but... I got... It was just shit. <laughs> I'm not even minding shit. You are, you are such an horrible man today. What is wrong with you? What's this box and why has it got a lock on it? I want to know why there's a big fat oh, lock on it. Key's there, look. Oh, is it? Oh, that's the shittest lock in the world if you put the key next to it. I bet there's absolutely nothing in this. What's in it? What's in it? Does it open? Oh, it does open. Imagine there could be, there could be like... Come on, Noel. Gorbachev could be in there. What it is? With his, he's dead now, isn't he? Oh, what does this say? This is like... Things for a spy. Registered design, 1884. What is, oh, I know what it is. It's a bulb. It, that bulb's from 1884, it's in there. Oh. Look, did you just make a really weird noise? Oh. Yeah, look, that's from 1884, that bulb. System starts in in which year, over 20,000 Designs were reported. The bench. Oh, the lunchbox dates from 18. It's the lunchbox that's lunch from 18. Box. Not the bulb, the box. That box is from 1884. Imagine taking that as your lunchbox. Fancy having to lock your sandwiches up. <laughs> They're robbing bastards, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, if there's spies about, they're going to come and take them away, aren't they? But. Yeah, but imagine, when he wrote that, do you, can you imagine that he, he sort of almost wrote it for us to find out what it was? Because who else would even look in there other than us? I've got no idea, but that's cool. That is. Imagine that. Especially with lock and key still there. Yeah. I'll put it behind there. From now. 1884, what's that then? 140 year old lunchbox? Did you have a sandwich in it? What is that? Ah. <gasps> Civil Defence Corps, welfare. Oh, what's that camera? Oh, that's a weird one. That is a Coda. weird camera. Right, I'm at the wrong angle here again. In fact, what's, you know the box? That lid? What's it say on it? Oh, getting pins and needles. <laughs> you all right down there? You've got very wrinkly back of your head, haven't you? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at what this says. 
Taylor and Breeden. Cigar, oh, it's cigars. Cigar box. Yeah. 30 Cross Street, Manchester, tobacco merchants. I wonder how old that is. You don't get things like that anymore, do you? No. But that doesn't mean, I suppose it doesn't mean it's that old because I remember tobacco shops and stuff when I were a kid. So. There's still one in Donny. Is there? Yeah. Oh. On, do you know um, what? Silver Street. I want to say Silver Street. A proper tobacconist. You don't, you don't see, you see them abroad. See them abroad quite a lot, but yeah. you don't see them over here. Yeah, they, sell, they still sell pipes and cigars and stuff. But yeah, that's the, I hate smoking. I literally cannot stand the smell of smoke or anything. The only smoke that I like is um, pipe smoke. The smell of pipe smoke's lovely. Oh, look. Oh, that's a good one, that is. That's really good, that one, look. That's old. Yeah. That is heavy. Yeah, that's like 1800. That, yeah, isn't it? that is really good. I really, really like that a lot. That's going to be worth some Yeah. Let's be wrapped up and put back in here. What's it? What's this? <gasps> is it a decoder? Of it? Is it, a, is it to, to solve things? It's not a fucking Da Vinci code. <laughs> no, but like when they send Morse code and things like, look at it. <gasps> it looks like something. It's a calculator. Like that. that can't be a calculator. If that's a calculator, there's something gone wrong. It says it there. It it says calculator on here. What's it say? Nipple calculator? <laughs> <gasps> How fast did you put that away? What's in that? Is that another one? It is. Oh, they're really good. Really, really like those. They're mega good, they are. There's some such good stuff in here. I bet, nobody, I bet nobody's rummaged through this. No, it? they probably haven't. They've come in gone, oh, look at this, and then left it. But yeah. Get, this is worth a bit. Get the calculator out. <laughs> get the calculator out properly. Why would you do that? It's on this handle but at this end. That can't be a calculator. Oh look, it's got the old TSB bank bag with it though. You see it? The cash bag. I know it's TSB. Because it says fucking TSB in big fucking letters. Wow. No, what, to swear. What do you mean, where? You know, I think you'll be silent if you didn't swear. <laughs> where? What do you mean, where? Well, you can see it now. How could he not see that? Even Bear can see that and he's not even looking. <laughs> Poor dog. Oh. How does that work then? I've got no idea. That is a weird machine. That is a really, really weird Nippon calculator. I've got no idea how that would work. No, it's very strange. It's for big numbers though, isn't it? Yeah. Look at all these on here. Hmm. That's that's madness. Oh, what a good little box find that was. Really, really like that. Oh. He proper loves you, doesn't he, Bear? Kept nudging me hand to stroke him. Maybe you feel left out tonight. Oh, hey? Bear boy. What a treat when you get back. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Give you a treat. Is it? And you people as well. You can have a treat as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Right, put everything back in there and we'll go and check in one of the other rooms. Right. There's definitely stuff up there. It's actually quite a lot of stuff up there by the looks of things. So I'm getting up those ladders in a minute. Are you a French spy now? Listen very carefully. I should say this only once. <laughs> You're an absolute idiot. Hey, is that not is that not racist these days though? Not French. No, it's no, it's um cultural appropriation. I'm sure I tell you off for cultural appropriation all, all the time. time. I wonder if that's the guy. Oh it might be. What's this? Pilot balloon slide rule marker. What's a pilot balloon? I've got no idea. Look at that, pilot balloon slide rule, oh, that's cool. I've just noticed these on the wall as well. Oh, it's a passport, I'll come and have a look at that in a minute. I wonder if this, oh, that's an old Victorian photo. It's only printed off though, it's scanned and printed off. And that looks like it's scanned as well. I'm not sure when that's from. Right. Dual nationality. Who's got, who's a dual nationality? British and South Korean. <gasps> Shut up, you're lying, you're lying. You're absolutely <laughs> lying. 
<laughs> oh, you would do that. I can't. Can I look at it? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything. I thought there might be something on there. Oh yeah, Pro Jeans Anthony. Nineteen forty-two. Nineteen forty-two. Yeah. So that's not from that long ago, really, is it? From nineteen forty-two. No, the thing's not long ago. The passport's Passport. not from nineteen forty-two. An old one because he's um he's used it. Has he travelled far? Yeah, it's not. Oh, he's stamped. Where's he been? Russia, New York. In 1993, he went to New York. Where else has he been? Ooh. Um, Orlando. What's that say? Republic. Oh. Is that something to do? It's Republika Hrvatska. Isn't that something to do with Greek? Greece? Might be wrong. Is that Helvetica or something? Maybe to Chicago. Where? Chicago. Where else? Chicago. US immigration. Yeah, Disneyland a lot, aren't he? <laughs> Maybe. That could be it. No! No! I know where he's been. What else is in Orlando? Sea World. That goes in Sky. Aren't, aren't the Cape Rockets? Canaveral. Yeah, isn't that Orlando? No, I don't think it is. I thought it were. No, that's Cape Canaveral. Yeah. I don't think that's Orlando, is it? It might be. Yeah, I was right about him being a Man United fan. Look, that's Mark Hughes. Oh, um, let's have a look. Gary Pallister, uh, Brian Robson, and oh, what were he called? He was Scottish. I can't think his name. And I saw him the other day. I sent you a picture of him. I said, do you remember Brian McClare? And you said, no, I don't know who he is. No, I don't. And I sent you a picture of him and then him as a big fat old man. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah. I still well, don't know who he is. They, well, he's him. He's him on that picture there. And I'm guessing that's the local football team because there's a shirt similar to that red one hung up in that wardrobe over there. Good old logo, so, is it? Well, no, but it could just be like a training top for him. Could be. Oh, look, Andy. You see what these are? Little tape things. Yeah. Spy. Spy. Def like he's, he's got people in here. There's more he's... chance of being a min spy than a, than a spy. <laughs> Have a look in the Clark's box. What's in the Clark's box? Not in that. I don't want to know what that is. I want to know what's in here. Shoes. Oh, look. Tape recorder. Oh, look. Tape recorder and tapes. Can I use your dictaphone? No, you can use your finger like every fucking else. <laughs> I've never heard that, that one before. A dictaphone. I know what a bloody dick... Right, you didn't have to explain the joke. I did. I know what a dictaphone is. I used to have a dictaphone. I don't know why I used to have a dictaphone, but I had one because I thought it were cool. Yeah, but you used to have a file of facts and all sorts of well, I actually did have a file of facts once. It's a sad They're sad. They're expensive. Like, ridiculously expensive. Yeah, but who has a file of facts? Yeah, but I had it in, like, I had a briefcase. I only worked at an after-school club. You Del boy. I, had an af I worked in an after-school club. I had a briefcase, a file of facts, and all sorts. Oh, it's, um, swimming baths in Barnsley. Ah, that's what it is. What do you mean, Spring Bath and Barnsley? It's the Barnsley metronome. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you've got to be local to understand that yeah, joke. Yeah, even I don't understand it. <laughs> oh, it's the king. It's King Eric. I used to... If you ever see me wearing a shirt with a, a football shirt with a collar, I have to have it up. Because I'm sad to say it. I am quite ashamed to say it. I used to wear Man United shirts all the time when I was younger. And I, I hate to say it now, but I used to. I've got photos of me and them. The green and yellow, like that. Oh, look, the scarves there from Man United. That red one and the green and yellow. I had the green and yellow kit. Like Germany. Why is it like Germany? You mean like Nazi Germany? <laughs> no, but yeah, the, the green and yellow kit that were round about the same sort of time as that, I had it. How many briefcases does this bloke There like? is, there's briefcases everywhere. Spy. Spies have briefcases with bombs in them. I'm so I better not press any of these buttons and some knives come out. Yeah, exactly. Who's on this other picture behind? Oh, is it Brian? Not Brian Hughes. Ooh, um, Mark Hughes. Yeah, Mark Hughes. Brian Hughes. <laughs> I'm just getting Mark everyone. Cloth. <laughs> oh, look at this in the corner. 
I don't know if that's old or new. Out at the bottom it doesn't. It says Officer First King's Dragoons Guards 1815, but I don't think it's very old. But that picture does look old. I don't know whether it's like a print of an older picture or something. Yeah, it could be. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look up. Printed by the hand. Printed by hand at the Oak Leaf Studio, Worcester. I'll have to have a look into that. See how old that that company is. What are you making noises for? What is happening in here? Ah, is that a clip with live bullets on it? They are. Just be careful. Yeah, they're live bullets. That's uh, that's quite worrying. Just be careful with them. I know you're not likely to knock, set them off or anything, but what is going on in here, Andy? They seem just. This is someone's bedroom, but this is not a bedroom. This is a workshop. Yeah, but remember what I was saying at the beginning, you know, when you were ignoring me and saying, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't care. I was saying he locked himself in his room and he was making things. So that's what all this is. I wonder what he was making. Like, what is this? That says Fluvac. That, what, what is it? Can you just come over here a minute and just look at this? Flew back. What, what is this bit here? Like with the pressurised bit on it? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Like that's a drill. Obviously I know that's a drill. But what is that? With the big gas bottle on the back? It just doesn't make sense, does it? I don't know what that is. No idea. Like again, I'd, sometimes I'd have an idea, but... Not with that one. What's with these big Guinness things as well? Big barrels. Oh, bro. Yeah, look, it's, and he's, there's been a few things about Guinness in this house, actually, aren't there? What are all those? Uh, ends for shell cartridges. Shut up. Maybe he's making weapons. Maybe he made the bullets. Maybe... Maybe I'm just talking absolute bollocks as usual. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's mainly just tools and drill bits and things like that. But who has all this in a bedroom? I've no idea. They've got all these sort of things like. Oh, what are they? Oh, way check. What's up with you? I don't know. You don't know what's up with you. Yeah. Gallons. It says gallons, way check. It's to put on a weighing thing, in it, and then you can weigh out how much there is or something. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? What's that to inject? Bloody hell. Just oil, that, innit? Have you seen the those Russians that put oil into the muscles to make the oh, arms look massive? That's just, that's just freaky. Yeah, but it can kill them. I don't know why they do it. They inject stuff in. <laughs> Congratulations to the gym best car park attendant award. <laughs> what? This award's for service to the parking community. Rhubarb borrowing. Number plate rhubarb envy. Rhubarb borrowing? <laughs> what do you, how, how do you borrow rhubarb and take it back? Well, you take it back, but in, one, in a bottle. Tea drinking. Giggling when working. I'll beat him at that. Letting down tyres for non payers of the pound. Friendship making. Entertaining the public with wit and jokes. Dog poo cleansing. Litter removal, fun having, having professional outfit to welcome visitors. What what is that all about? Seriously, I've got no idea. <gasps> China. Oh God, it is. China is is uh, he's, he's definitely a spy. He's a spy. German Mao. <laughs> Bear's trying to follow me up these steps. I don't know how he thinks he's going to climb up here. Jesus, you weren't wrong about there being not very much room up here. Right, I'll try and get up. Oh, that's a little writing desk from a school desk, isn't yeah. it? That's good. Oh, play Family Village. I'm sure that's like 1980s when I were like playing with toys like that. I seem to remember them. I'm sure their heads bobbed up and down or something when you... Oh, yeah, I think, I think they did, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's a proper old school desk. Nothing in it. And someone's well. I'm sure that says skull on it. 
Oh yeah, Inkwell. I cannot move at all. I'm in such an awkward position. Not much headroom, is there? No, they're in. Oh, look. Look at the rocking horse. Really old, that, isn't it? That's really good. I've got an old rocking horse in my house, but that looks older. That's an old fishing tackle. I reckon one. that's, I don't know, maybe 100 years old. I don't think it's 1800s, but I reckon it's probably 20s, 30s. Looking at that, you know, just because of the material seat bit on it. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of. Right, that's a little bit better. Now, I feel like I'm going down memory lane down here because I remember that. Super-sized trucks, Bigfoot, 4x4x4. Four by four by four. That I seem to remember that from when I was a kid. So I'm reckoning this is like his kid's stuff from the 80s, 90s and stuff. Yeah, what's that on the hook? Oh my lord, I definitely had one of these in the 80s. You put your fingers in the holes in the back. Yeah. Like that. And you go, hello, my name's Matt. Oh, that's proper brought back memories, that has. I definitely had one of those. Um, do you remember Boglins? Yes. I think I had Boglins as well, or I think I might have Very wanted... Vaguely. Boglins and there were glow worms as well and I my dad mum and dad got me a glow worm um for Christmas obviously father Christmas brought me a, a glow worm for Christmas and it said put it near light and then it, it'll glow so I thought well I want it to glow quick so I put it on the bulb and melted his face off so my dad had to go out on boxing day and go and get another one and I was said no I want it now no, because I tried to do it, like, thinking I was uh, doing it a thinking clever way. Clever, yeah. yeah, but not in a bad Just way. You up that. No, I am clever. Oh, oh, who is he? Who is this man? Just found a man. Oh, also, not just a man. I know it's only a box. Oh, I think that might be who the man is. Wait a minute. 18. It is. Look. What is it? Oh. It's him. I don't know his name. Oh, I... it's it's this one here. Oh, it, it, I'm sure it says it somewhere. Yeah, that's his helicopter. That's his helicopter, and I can't remember his name. Murdoch. Murdoch. That's him. Yeah, Murdoch. Oh, right. A team gyrocopter. I bet that's worth a bit, you know, with the box as well, because. They're really collectible, aren't they? Stuff like that. There'll be bits missing off it, like, but. Right, so it was, it was good in there. It was good, but I feel like we may be being followed now. Hunted down, and then they're going to give us some ricin. Or. Ricin? Yeah, ricin. Not ricin? No, nothing with ricin. Just some ricin. Pustacin. I'm sure it's ricin. No, who pronounce it ricin? Anyway, some poison. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be poisoned by someone for, for going through spy stuff. What was that manual? That's what I want to know. I can't remember what it was. No, but it, it was like a computer attack system or something, weren't it? That's but it. Something like that. Like, but what were it for? I want to know what it was for. To attack computers. Well, no, you see, that's the thing. If I Google it, it'll just come up with, like, virus attacks. Viruses. So it's not right. So I don't really know what to search for it. What was the other thing as well? Like, the periscope thing I thought was really good. That's a periscope. That's for looking above I things. know what that's for. And the lunchbox. That's for putting your signers in. Well, it depends, unless you're Linford Christie. But anyway, um, yeah, there's there's just there was lots of good things in there. There's lots of weird stuff in there, like stuff that didn't fit, like engineering type stuff. But An then, outboard motor. Yeah. I wonder if it, it was a boat in garage. Oh yeah, because there was a massive garage, like long, really long, weren't it? Almost like a workshop garage. Mm, I looking there. I looked through the door, and there was a big, massive um, barrel for beer. I could see that and loads of bits of stuff. But I couldn't see much else. <coughs> and it, it were locked both ends, so there was no way of getting in, which no. is a shame. But, yeah, I enjoyed it in there. And actually, when I first walked through the window, when I first climbed through the window, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. Around the window. <laughs> no, but did you? I thought it was going to be a bit, eh, a bit rubbish. I did, but I 
saw the outside to be fair mm. and i saw the drive and thought it's gonna be shite yeah and then we got in and actually it was really good even the things on top of those cupboards in the kitchen they were good they were really good as well so like the loom things yeah the, the weavery things yeah. yeah really good anyway if you've enjoyed it bang a like on the video subscribe and we will see you next week and we love you very much i don't it's been harsh I do really bye bye, bye.